Hey everyone, as you can see we got a ghosty right here and uh, yeah, I still need to get some ghost photos, that's why I'm doing this. And he's been doing a lot, actually. He has already killed the breaker, he has done another event before, I got a spirit box answer, it's a one evidence one. And it's not a phantom because I've just taken a photo of the ghost. Um, I can test for Dio. And of course, I have to take some photos. On this difficulty here, I've activated the music box so I can get the photos, but this time it happened naturally and I'll take it. Which door? Let me see. This one. Okay. Perfect. So, let me just... I mean, I don't have to look for thingies because we have gotten a spirit box, right? Where did you just step in? Where are you going, ghosty pants? Okay, it's a quite wormy ghost. It's walking like everywhere. <laughs> you need one more photo. Okay. Put this word box in here. Where are you? Okay, that's the photo. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you here? Where are you? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Okay, no Diochen answer. It has turned on a light, which means it's not a mare. And yeah, here we got the music box. <laughs> I didn't even take a photo of it. <laughs> because the ghost was doing so much in the beginning. I was in the dark there for a while, but let's see if our sanity is low all of the sudden. No, I was at 80 before. I don't think it's a Moroi. I can test that again. Um, I don't think it's a deal. Um, I've placed a camera so we can check for Orbeez. That's the ghost room here in the middle. But I haven't seen any before and I don't see any yet. We can test for Onorio, of course. So how do you test for those now, if you got spirit box as an evidence? Uh, during the hunt, a spirit will not be able to hunt for three minutes. A wraith doesn't step into the salt, this ghost did. A phantom would disappear and say it's a three-star photo, but here it's a three-star photo and the ghost was still there after taking the photo. You saw it in the beginning of the video. A mare can't turn on the lights and this ghost just turned on a light, that's why the mare is out. And for the open I was trying to get the special answer by being near the ghost and spamming the spirit box because there's a 33% chance that you can get that his answer. And the more I will drain your sanity by a lot even if you're in the light after giving you a spirit box answer. So yeah, you've turned on the lights again, huh? <laughs> going crazy on those lanterns, but I don't think it's an Unreal. Because an Unreal would have already hunted by now. Where's the spirit box? Where are you? Are you here? Behind. Are you close? Behind. Are you a child? Are you old? Elderly. What do you want? Elderly. Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you old? How old are you? Are you angry? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. A lot of flash going on in here. <laughs> Okay, all the candles have been extinguished, but no hunt attempt has happened. This one seems to be out of range, I think. But it even blew out this one there. Interesting. Okay, 
Let's ignite three lanterns again around the ghost room. They don't have to be in the ghost room, they just have to be in range to test for Unreal. Um, yeah, let's see if we have lost a lot of sanity now, but I don't think so, because the more I, I think I would be below 50 already if it was a more I. This looks like two interactions, yes, but we got lanterns in there. No, it's for sure not a more way. My sanity would have drained further more. Okay, so we have to use the incense. Oh, we have to go back in. Because if it tries to start a hunt because of the lanterns, we have to be there. So poltergeist is possible. Oh, I was about to say. So I have to set up a palty highway here. Okay, so let me do this real quick and I'll be back. Okay, I've been setting up everything here and it tossed that book with a lot of force. Maybe we are actually dealing with the poltergeist. Let's see. It also has killed the breaker again. Oh, I can grab those as well. If it's a palty. So it has something. Because in that room there's nothing. It hasn't tried to hunt yet. Where did I leave my smooch? Over there. Okay. So let's give that ghost as many bullets as possible. You see that? It has tossed everything in here because there's nothing in its room. So let's change that and give the ghost some stuff to interact with in there. I'm curious what's it gonna be. It's a bit mysterious, this ghosty. Did you kill the breaker again? I think so, right? Yep. See, it can't be a hunter and this ghost has already killed the breaker like three times or something like that. Insane. Okay, so I guess, yeah, and as you can see all the lanterns have been blown out again and there goes the breaker again. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So I don't think it's an unreal, but I need the hunting threshold for a deal. Just in case, you know. Um, so what do we have? We are at exactly 60, which means an Unreal can hunt by itself now, even without any lanterns or candles being involved. Okay, we don't have to do the power mic, which is fine. Okay, ghosty. <sighs> the breaker. So now I'm gonna test if it's an Unreal by just uh, holding on to my sanity the way it is right now. And if it doesn't try to hunt during that time, I'm gonna make it drain to 50 and um, see if it hunts then. If it does hunt at 50, we can roll out Deochen because Deochen hunts at 40. And we could actually listen for two interactions in the meanwhile. Maybe we're gonna hear one or another two interaction here. And like I said, I've activated the music box because I wanted to take the photos, but you saw it in the beginning. <laughs> Okay, so far it hasn't tried to hunt yet. We are between 50 and 60% sanity. I'm now draining to 50 because I'm in a dark room now. But I haven't had any two interactions yet. This is all just normal single interactions. So maybe we're just dealing with, this, with the boring spirit? Or maybe a yokai or a poltergeist that's just holding back itself. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm curious what this ghost is gonna be. <laughs> so yeah, once I reach 50%, I'm gonna check again if it tries on. It's Romy! Now it's in the garage again. Wow. <laughs> okay, it started hunting. It's not a deal. No. It's a yokai. It didn't find me. Easy as that. Be careful. Uh, the ghost mustn't see you if you do a yokai test. It was in the garage behind that wall. It didn't see me and I was calling it with B. Also this door blocks line of sight. And see, it doesn't find me. It just doesn't find me. It's a yokai. <laughs> just as easy as that. So ju now I just need to drain my sanity. Actually, we got tier 3 crucifixes.
Hey, buddy. See? <laughs> Just as easy as that. Oh, I didn't drain enough sanity, but that's fine. <laughs> I was standing near it. Let me smooch you. Here, you got a smooch. <laughs> okay. That's it. Just as easy as that. J now, just we need to... We need to drain our sanity to 25%. I don't know how the spirit box, uh, the music box worked again. I think it was like 7% per second or something like that. Yeah. I've listened to it for like 2 or 3 seconds maybe. I think I was exactly at 50%. So now we just need to drain a little bit more. And then we can go to the next one. Bye, ghosty. I just stepped out of the house, you know, and Ghosty was like, hey, I want to say goodbye to you. Bye, Ghosty. That's so cute of you that you say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I just stepped out of the door, you know, and it just uh, closed the door behind me and started that ghost event. <laughs> so cute. Okay, this was a okay. Let's have a look at the stats. By the way, the multiplier is gonna be so damn low because I've turned on sprint, I got one evidence and I got the music box, so it's gonna be a tiny, tiny multiplier. <laughs> you look at that, 2.86. I think that's a professional, even a below professional, so between intermediate professional. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm at level 100. I just want to get those ghost photos for the weekly. And... Oh, I got the daily as well. If you nice. like to progress, you can now prestige. I know. So here are the stats. Let's move on to our next ghosty. Hey everyone, welcome back. The ghost just followed me upstairs even though it's downstairs. It just scared the crap out of me. It sounded like it was hunting right behind me with heavy footsteps. Oh my god. I get so scared. Oh my god, ghosty. You're scaring me. Are you actually now here? I don't get where the ghost is because I thought it was here, but is it now in the foyer? It, it was blowing out candles down here. Wait a second. Are you up here? What were you doing on the stairs? Okay. I guess you are up there. Gimme, 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 gimme my camera. Where is my camera? I can't see anything. Okay. We still get one evidence. Oh my god, that stepping behind me, it scared the living bejeebus out of me. Oh my god, ghosty. Okay, no fingers yet, but they're not 100%. There's no hiding there. Where's that ghost? I guess it was stalking me, maybe. I can't find it. Ah, you're in here. What were you doing on the stairs and downstairs? Are you a phantom? It's in that bathroom. That's insane. Okay. Let me grab this. And let's see if it's actually there. It... I, believe me, guys. I was so scared when that happened. <laughs> I hope that counts. Okay, so we get no wraith, which means it has to be like a phantom or something like that. Right? I haven't gotten any evidence yet. Okay, we need sensors up there. Now I've placed everything down here, but it's okay. I can take those photos later on. Let's leave one here so we know if the ghost goes downstairs. And we can sit here and wait for the ghost to come to us, right? I keep turning them off by accident. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, guys, our evidence is gonna be an orb, which means it could be a banshee then. Because a phantom doesn't have an orb. Or it could be a mimic mimicking one of those ghosts. Maybe it's, it has just mimicked one of them. So now since we got that orb, we have to look for this spirit box and... Uh, what was the last one? Freezing. Okay, we got that thing already back there. We don't have any hiding spots downstairs, unfortunately. Let's see, did it touch anything here? Can you step into the salt, please, once more? I would really appreciate that, Ghosty. Oh, it's far away from freezing in here. Where are you? Are you here? 
Are you close? Are you a child? Right Are you old? It's a mimic. It's a mimic, guys. We don't have um, thingies, but we get two evidences, and I play with only one evidence, which means we are dealing with a mimic. Uh, what door did you touch? Okay, so now let's try and get the objectives. Are you trying to be a yoi by any chance? <laughs> oh, I can take a second one. Let's see. Yeah, both of them count. Take this. Take this. We need a ghost photo as well. So let's see how we can do that. I brought both cameras here. I'm insane. Okay, uh, I'm gonna set up everything and then we're gonna try and make that ghost hunt, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so that one is gonna be a little bit tricky because we have to get below 25% sanity and at the same time we need to make the ghost use the crucifix and I wanna take the ghost photo, so let's hope this works. Oh, she's coming closer. Okay, and she has used the crucifix over there. So I don't know how much that drained my sanity now because um, the music box drains sanity if you are near it and I was just sitting next to it to drain my sanity. And it's at 60%. Okay, so now I have to drain it a little bit more. So I just stopped there because I thought, okay, let the music just finish and drain my sanity in the meanwhile, but... The ghost decided to walk towards me at one point, but it's fine. We have gotten our ghost photo, that's the reason why we're here. And uh, yeah, it's none of these by the way, it's a mimic because we play with two evidence and we have gotten... Uh, with one evidence and we have gotten two, just as easy as that. So yeah, I'm just gonna drain my sanity here now. Let me see, is they are hiding here? Oh yeah. Maybe we get one or another ghost event, so... Let's move on to the next ghost then. Oh, never mind. There you go. A ghost event. I'm gonna walk into you and maybe I've lost... No, I haven't lost enough sanity. It's 25% more. Of course. That's why I placed it there. <laughs> oh my god. That ghost is insane. It's mimicking my favorite ghost. It's mimicking a wraith. You see that? Sorry guys, I wanted to move on to the next ghost, but it's now mimicking a wraith. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cute of you. Oh, I mean, this is not so cute, but... <laughs> Come on, walk through the sensor. Come on. You teleported to me. Come on, walk through the sensor. Walk back. Show us that you are a wraith at the moment. Come on, walk through the salt. I guess she's sticking around. <laughs> That's so cute. She's mimicking her wife. So cute. <laughs> but yeah, I still have to wait a bit for the objective. Let's hope one or another ghost event will hit us so we can leave. She's hunting. She's not mimicking a deer, it's fine. So. I think she's still a wraith because she's not being slowed by the salt. I left salt down there. A lot of salt. She's still mimicking a wraith. That's so cute. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a cursed hunter. I forgot about that. Well, okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh my god, she's mimicking a revenant, right? Yeah, it's a revenant. Oh my god. Guys, you know what that means? Hey, ghost! 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 I had to do it! Sorry, guys! I had to! It's a revenant! I have to do it if it mimics a revenant! <laughs> to do it look at those webby feet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's so cool oh tiny creepy crawly 
Oh my god, guys, sorry, I had to do that. You know the duel, you know the duel. If it's a revenant, I have to play with it. Thank you, Ghosty, you've been nice. Mimicking my favorite ghost and my second favorite ghost. That's so cute. Did I find the bone? Yeah, this time I found the bone. So, yeah. So, same as before, it's gonna be a tiny multiplier, but uh, we're still collecting our ghost photos for the weekly. Oh yeah. Um, we want to offer you a special kind of promotion. Special promotion, yeah. So it has changed ghost type 14 times. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we are now at Witchview and uh, we have gotten ghost riding as an evidence. And since the ghost did an airball before while I was at 90% because now I'm at 80, it can't be a shade and it can't be a Moroi or Dio because... Um, we only got one evidence and spirit box is a first evidence for those two so we can will them out so we are dealing with one of those guys so let's try and figure them out and i think i've turned off the lights in here before so i don't think that it's a mare but i'm not 100 percent sure let me just turn that off Poltergeist is possible as well, right? Yep. Okay, that means we have to give that ghost some stuff to play with. Because it has been throwing around a bit. But I don't know if that was enough for it being a poltergeist. So let's give that ghost everything here. It's been playing around with the drawer a lot. So for poltergeist we need to set up a tiny poultry highway for the hunt and we need to load that room up with a lot of items. <laughs> we can also place the sound sensor because we may be able to hear that if it does an explosion. Leave that near the ghost room, this near the ghost room. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can test for all of those ghosts. And there comes another airball right on top of me. It loves to do those airballs. I don't know why <laughs> it's going crazy on those airballs. This is a quite active ghost. Oh my god, there are not that many items around here, huh? In which view. It's almost like high school here. So we have to test for um, Pulte. That's why we need some items around here for the ghost to throw. But ah, that's not much actually. Do we have some more items here? Of course we get the music box as well, right? <laughs> We're gonna use that. Teddy, may I get you? Thank you. So let's see, we put this here and this here. And Teddy, you're gonna be our assistant. You can read the ghost story, okay? You threw that twice. Interesting. But no multi-throw. Interesting. So uh, we need still the a power mic uh, answer. There it is. So how can we figure out those ghosts? Um, the spirit would hunt after three minutes after being smudged. The poltergeist would throw a lot of stuff. Uh, the mare, we can test that with the light switches in between. No reaction to that, okay. But for the mare, unfortunately, we need the hunting threshold, which means we need um, to drain our sanity down to between 50 and 60 and see if it tries to hunt. That's the best way to figure out the mare. The demon, I don't know, it would have hunted already, I guess. It could be a thing because it was doing so many ghost events in the beginning. It was only airballs, but it's quite active. It could be actually a thing. I hope I'm not too close to the ghost like this. So I'm gonna try and drain my sanity. <sighs> Please tell me that counts. Damn it. I don't think that counts. I think this might actually be a thing. It's so active. And I have to check my sanity before it starts hunting. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I think this didn't count. I was a little bit too late and my sanity is gonna be so low now. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a bit too low even. 
Mm. Okay, that's but that's good. It's still above 50. This ghost is crazy. Did that photo count? I don't know at what number I was. I'm at 11 out of 15. Hey, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. The breaker is still on, right? Yeah, it's still on. Because sometimes the flashlights uh, illuminate the whole place. Okay, now we have to prevent our sanity from draining, though. Oh my god, ghosty, don't be around me. Stop it. Don't be around me. Oh, I need the lights. It's a mare. It should be able to hunt now. Because it was around here and I turned on the light and I turned it off immediately. Let's see. Mm, no reaction to that one, huh? Let's turn them off. Damn it, you've killed the breaker. Why? Come on, do it again. I just want to be sure. What are you doing in this bed? You're insane. Look at this ghost. I hope those photos count. And I don't know how my sanity is holding up. And there's no hiding spot in the basement. I need my sanity. One, 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 one. Because uh, I want to double check the mare here with the hunting threshold. That's the best way to figure out the mare. But it might be too late, right? We are already below 50. He, 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 he. Damn. Okay, I have to do this. No other way. We're gonna be at 75 again, but we get the music box. It should be fine. Let's turn that breaker back on. Oh no, it was in the garage, not down here. I forgot. Because most of the time it's down here. It's not hunting yet. Okay. So let's see if that goes, does that again. Now we got enough time to keep testing this. And we can drain our sanity again if we need to. So please, Ghosty, if you are actually a mare, just do that again, what you've done before in this room. Okay, knock on that mirror. It's not doing it, it's not doing it. I don't know if this is too far away. It has to be in range of the ghost if you test that. And you have to wait for 10 seconds. This might be close enough. Okay, nope. Is this off? No, it's on. Turn them off. If the ghost is gonna be near us again. Oh, it's standing there. We can do another tour. Or another round. Or another lap. <laughs> with the light switches. You're throwing a lot, man. Another air ball. God damn it, it has killed the breaker again. Let's see, it even works with the breaker being off. We are at 65 right now, I guess. Okay, I don't hear anything. No, that was the breaker. But wait, the breaker was already off. Why did I hear all the light switches like I've popped the breaker? The breaker was already off. huh? Maybe it even applies if the breaker is off. Who knows? Okay, I need to get that breaker reactivated because I need the hunting threshold. Okay, we are at the exact amount as before. We are still above 50, but only a little bit. Now we have to figure out if that ghost tries to hunt. So... Maybe I'm just gonna stand here and wait for the crucifix to be used. Because then I can be sure that it has to be a male. Because, yeah, except for the Thay, there are no other early hunting ghosts. And we can still uh, double check it with the speed during the hunt. So let's see if it tries to hunt now. Oh my god, I just went up the stairs for one bit and she immediately does a ghost event. But she's not hunting though. That's so weird. Maybe it's not a mare after all. Hey, ghosty. Oh, you were standing there. Let's test this again. She's right here right now. So let's see if she immediately turns off a light. Wait a second. Was that on this whole time? Did you turn on this light? It's not a mare, I guess. We can will that out. I think that was the ghost this time. So it's actually just a they. Okay, let's leave this on. Turn this off. Okay, 
So we can wait for the hunting threshold. Uh, I think we've gotten the ghost photo, right? Did we? And the rest we can hear depending on the speed and stuff, right? Is she back? I think so. Oh. Would you cut this out? Come to the crucifix. Here. Okay, she might hunt naturally now. I think it's a they. It's so active. It's insane. Where's my photo cam? She's standing right there now. Get over here! Ah, damn it, I was a bit too late. But it's okay. Yep, ghosty, the crucifix did its job. <laughs> okay. So now we just have to wait for a hunt and see what this ghost does. I can do that downstairs. I can just wait down here. Because I got a flashlight here. So I can see stuff. And I got a glow stick here so I can mark my hiding spot. And can I grab one of the sensors without dying? <laughs> that was scared me. Okay, uh, this one always bugs out, so I have to walk through it. Okay. Okay, Ghosty, uh, we are ready. You can start hunting. Thank you. I don't hear anything. It's a miling. can barely hear her. You heard that? She was coming down the stairs and I couldn't hear any footsteps. I only heard the throws. So we are dealing with a miling here. I can't even barely hear her in the master bedroom. So obviously we are dealing with a miling. You just have to listen for the footsteps. If you hear stuff being thrown but no footsteps, then uh, you're dealing with a miling. But you have to be far away from the ghost. That's why I was squeezing in that corner in the back. So I have my distance. It's the same like with the gin test. You have to be far away from the ghost to actually hear this difference. By the way, if the ghost is above you, so on a different floor or below you, then you will hear the footsteps clearly all the time. It has to be on the same floor as you and you have to keep your distance so you can hear it. Let's hope it's actually a miling because sometimes I'm not so sure about them but I don't think it's any of the others actually and I didn't test for spirit but we'll see. Watch that be a spirit. No it was a miling. Okay <laughs> my ears are still working. Whoops sorry and I keep uh, beating my microphone and your ears will be broken. Sorry. I don't want to break your ears. I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> okay, so Myling has nothing special, but during a hunt, um, you have to be as far away as possible from the ghost. Give the ghost some stuff to throw, some put some items there. And if you hear the stuff being thrown, but no footsteps, then you're dealing with a Myling. But if the ghost is too close to you, you're going to hear the footsteps, of course. But don't rule it out because of that. Try to be as far away as possible from the ghost. Here on Witchview it works pretty well because the map is uh, large. The hardest map for mining is actually Edgefield because everything is so close together. It's difficult to find a good spot to hear the difference for the ghost to be far enough away for you to hear th this difference that the mining has. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna do one more. Hey everyone, welcome to the next ghost and it just turned on a light, it stepped into the salt so uh, we can rule out some ghosties. It also did an airball event quite early which made me rule out Shade and Oni so uh, we can also rule out Mare. 
So far, I haven't gotten any evidence yet, but we might be dealing with a Goryo here. I haven't seen any dots yet, so I'm trying to see. That's not EMF 5, right? No, it's EMF 3. Yeah, it sounds like EMF 3. So usually if you don't get any evidence, it's most of the time a Goryeo. So that's why I'm just sitting here like that with the camera and the dots. <laughs> so I can uh, see that. So we have no thingies, no freezing, no spirit box, no EMF 5 yet. Come on, ghosty. You have to be out of the room, of course, to see the Goryeo dots. But you don't have to leave the house. You can uh, sit in a different room. I'm sitting in a different room now. I'm sitting in the living room and the ghost is in the kitchen. Mm, is there an orb somewhere that I've missed? No, I don't see any. The Goryeo dots can take forever. That's why I'm sitting in the light here right now. So except for one airball event, there was no other event yet. And Goryeos are territorial. They do a lot of events. Yeah, toss down the painting. It's interesting to watch a ghost doing its thing, you know? <laughs> Just uh, be like uh, redecorating the whole room. <laughs> Are you gonna be a Goryeo? I hate Goryeos. So for the Goryeo, you will always have forced dots. It's touching a lot of doors. But I don't see any dots yet. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't see anything. Test this again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Are you close? Are you a child? Are you old? What do you want? Why are you here? Show yourself. Absolutely. No EMF 5. No thingies. No book. No freezing. It has to be a Goryeo. Usually if you don't get any evidence and if you can't see any dots. Sometimes the dots take forever. But... I think we're dealing with a Goryeo here, so I can just sit here and wait for it to happen. The Goryeo dots can take like forever, unfortunately. I could also watch them from the truck. It's playing around with the microwave. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Can you make me some too? I could use a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Ghosty. Do your dots. Come on. It's so shy. Maybe I'm a bit too close. I don't know, but I'm in a different room. I'm not in the kitchen and the ghost room is obviously the kitchen, as you saw on the thermo. And oh, yes, yes. Saw that? You saw that? That's how you figure out Agorio. You saw it walking towards that door on the camera, but not in life. So, yeah, it was only visible on the camera, but not here. Great! So, I was right. We need a ghost photo. We need to cleanse. We need the crucifix. We can do that all in one go. We got one crucifix here. One crucifix is here. We just have to be careful that the ghost is not... Let's grab the other camera just in case. We just have to be careful that the ghost is not in here when that when I start the box. Okay, uh, here goes nothing, I guess. Place it. Come on, ghosty. Come in range. There you are. And there goes the crucifix. Okay, and we just gotta do this. Whoop! No, how did I miss that? Are you kidding me? He was here, and I started it here. Okay, step into a sensor. Where are you? Are you here? Show us. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna start from here. Come on, step into a sensor. Okay, it's not stepping into the sensors. 
Yes, it worked. Okay. And that's it. That's uh, how you figure out a Gorio. So keep in mind, the dots will always be forced for a Gorio. So if you have Irma 5, you can rule out Gorio. If you have UV, you can rule out Gorio because the dots are always forced for this ghost. And they are annoying. Come on, show us one more Gorio dots before we leave. Come on. Here, there they were. Okay, thank you, ghosty. Bye. <laughs> It's my least favorite ghost, to be honest. I don't hate any ghosts, but the Gorios. <sighs> yes, I actually hate them sometimes. Sometimes they drive me crazy, but this one, it was a nice Gorio, okay? Welcome back. We gotta see it from the bright side. <laughs> and I'm already above uh, level 100. So, let's have a look. We need three more photos. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's Saturday now. I can. I should be able to take three ghost photos tomorrow, I guess. So yeah, that was it. I hope that helps you for your next encounter with the ghosties, if you play with one evidence. I hope uh, that helps you to figure them out with only one piece of evidence. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!